So it's a little bit sad for me to say this, but I'm no longer going to be using Fusion 360. Let me tell you how I got to this point. Three years ago, I bought my first 3D printer. Okay, this is gonna be awesome. I printed out all sorts of things, which eventually led me to want to create some of my own designs, but there was one big problem. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Not knowing where to start or what software to use, I did what I normally do when I can't figure something out. I went through video after video and article after article, and I couldn't get a clear answer about what software was the best to use. Little did I know at the time, there was a reason there was no clear answer. Even though I was frustrated, I still managed to come up with a list of popular CAD options to try. Blender, the sleeping giant. This software was a powerhouse. Not only was it capable of 3D modeling, but you could also animate, render, and produce videos. On top of that, there was a plethora of plugins and tutorials to rely on if you ever ran into any problems. And the best part about all this was, it's free. So naturally, I was excited and I tried creating my first model. This looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> I spent days watching videos and practicing in Blender making very little progress. I even purchased a course which helped out a lot, but I still found myself struggling to get the hang of it. This software had one of the steepest learning curves I had ever used even beating out Photoshop. So with hours of time invested, I decided to cut my losses and try something else. Shaper 3D. This software surprised me. Not only was it natural and easy to use, but the tutorials that the company made were fantastic. I was quickly able to start designing things that didn't look absolutely horrible. But it wasn't all sunshine and roses. I really wanted this software to work for me, but it had two massive problems I couldn't get past. The first problem was the fact that it wasn't parametric at the time, meaning I couldn't go back into the timeline history and easily make changes to the model I was creating. That was a feature I really wanted because I didn't have the skills or confidence to only use direct modeling. And the second problem was, the price. Look at this, it's $300 a year or $38 a month, which is really a shame because the software is actually pretty good. They did have a free version, but they limited you to only being able to work on two designs at a time, and you also couldn't export high quality files, which was kind of a deal breaker for me, especially when the third software on this list was free and also much more capable. A professional CAD software that many people and companies use and rely on. Being similar to Shaper 3D, I was able to pick it up quite quickly, especially with the amount of free tutorials online. This software was a beast at creating accurate mechanical type designs, and it also had a fully parametric design history just in case you messed up and needed to make changes later on. They also had a free maker license with very few limitations, so being satisfied with how Fusion 360 performed, I decided to stick with it. Over the next few years, I created lots of designs in Fusion and really enjoyed it. Up until now, I ran into two big problems once again. 
First off, the Fusion Hobby License only allows you to make up to $1,000 of annual revenue. This was a problem because I recently started selling my designs and I'm getting close to that threshold. So I will need to upgrade my account and pay for a standard license, which cost, well, $680 a year or $85 a month. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not making enough money to justify paying that much, and that was the first nail in the coffin for Fusion 360. The second problem that was really bothering me as of late with Fusion 360 is the performance. I have a very high-end computer, and I'm consistently having issues with Fusion 360 lagging or just completely crashing anytime I work on a complex shape. So it's not even when I'm working on designs. I literally just tried to open up Fusion and it, it won't open. I don't know what's going on. It completely kills my creativity and workflow when I'm having to restart or wait for Fusion to start working again every time I make some changes to a design. So this inevitably led me to look elsewhere for a software that better fit my needs. Plasticity, the new kid on the block. I stumbled across some videos showing this software in action and I was really impressed. It sort of looked like Fusion 360 and Blender had a baby. You are able to create dimensionally accurate designs like in Fusion, but you still have the freedom to create more organic shapes like in Blender. You can even have your designs directly sync and update in Blender in real time if that's something you're into. I did have one problem though. It wasn't parametric. You can only do direct modeling, which is a bit more challenging in my opinion. Luckily, plasticity is very dynamic and flexible, so making changes further into a design is not impossible, but it definitely won't be as easy as Fusion or Shaper 3D. The real deciding factor that won me over, besides the capability of the software, was the price. You get access to the full version with all the features and a commercial license for just $150. Not $150 a year, $150 total, and you own the software forever. Granted, you will only get updates for 12 months following the purchase, but it does include any major releases as well. The software also runs great on my computer and I never have any issues with lagging or crashing. So it's safe to say I will be sticking with plasticity for the foreseeable future. It is sad to see my journey coming to an end with Fusion 360. I spent a lot of time learning and designing things in Fusion, but hopefully the team at Autodesk will fix the issues with Fusion 360 and hopefully they will lower the price as well. I'm just happy there's many alternatives nowadays, so we're not just stuck with one software. That being said, this video was not sponsored, and if you're curious about how much money I made selling my designs, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.